We developed the copper nickel alloy with Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding Division. And these parts are casting replacements that you would see often used for various different shipbuilding applications. With this alloy, you see additional corrosion resistance and um, they prevent fouling due to algae. So one of the benefits you're seeing here is a great reduction in lead time. Previously, you would have to cast these and with casting come a lot of surface porosities. Things like sand casting can have different impacts on internal channels. The customer has found substantial lead time improvements in having these additively manufactured. Alloys such as this one are also often used in industrial heat exchangers. And one of the, the core advantages down the line will be being able to tap into some of those additional markets. Things like chemical processing, um, the oil and gas industry are both going to see substantial benefit from being able to print these parts in-house. I would imagine also chirogenics. Yep, yep, definitely. There is very good thermal and mechanical stability from 400 degrees Celsius down to negative 270 degrees Celsius. So what really strikes me is that these parts are actually quite simple. Even for something of this uh, level of complexity, there must be a good um, cost rationale for 3D printing there. Yeah, so the, the great cost rationale there is being able to go from a cast CAD model and taking that and directly printing it. Oftentimes these parts are going to be machined regardless, whether it's cast or whether it's 3D printed, but you can take so much lead time out of the actual acquiring and acquisition of these parts just through additive manufacturing. Being able to print these in-house like Huntington Ingalls is doing really just allows you to get your parts in a matter of weeks as opposed to a matter of months.